Hi, I'm Grant Gerke, Media Director for EV Parade, and we are just outside of Chicago. I'm talking with Todd Doerr, a new owner of a Tesla Model S, and we'll find out a little bit more about Todd and the Model S. Sure, Grant, thank you, and uh, welcome to my home, and thanks for having me. Um, this all started when I joined the Fox Valley Electric Auto Association, which is um, our local Chicago area electric car enthusiast club. Uh, and I ironically joined about a month or two before the 9-11 attacks um, out of curiosity. So a friend of mine got me interested into it. Um, we joined uh, the local club, 9-11 happened, and it, it, it became pretty clear to, the, uh, to myself anyways as well as probably a lot of the American public that um, that you know oil money was really f uh, funneling um, uh, the terrorism that was being used against uh, uh, our country and so with that um, I wanted to uh, use less oil myself and as a result I converted a car and this was over 10 years ago in 2002 and 2003 I converted a Nissan Stanza wagon which uh, was an unusual type of uh, model in, in, in the sense that there weren't too many wagons around and it was like a Jeep Cherokee and this was a late 80s model car. Uh, then I did another not real conversion, mini conversion where I bought a 2005 Toyota uh, Prius hybrid and I added batteries to the regular Prius batteries so that with a, a charger and a switch so that I could drive the car electrically and use less gas. Um, then the third car that I worked on was a Volkswagen New Beetle 2001. So in 2008, I converted that car to electric, all using lead batteries as I had with my other conversions. And I could get between 20 and 35 miles on a charge on it. And I drove that car until summer of 2012 when I sold it. So I was interested in buying a Model S back in 20. 11, uh, early 2011, when it be, uh, which was after Tesla went public, and I'd been following Tesla through uh, electric vehicle circles and so forth. Now, in some of the circles I traveled in, uh, I was friends, befriended some Tesla Roadster, the sports car owners, and those folks who put money down for the Tesla Model S were given preferential treatment in terms of their sequence numbers. He was number 367. When he got his call up in August, uh, I put my money down, so he put his money down in 2011, I put my money down in early 2012. He got his call up to configure all of his options and order his car in August. He needed to defer it because he couldn't buy the car in 2012. He was going to wait until this year, 2013, to buy the car. And so instead of just deferring, we talked to Tesla Corporate and asked if we could swap reservation numbers. They said, sure, they'll do it for us, primarily because he had been a, a longtime customer owning a Tesla Roadster. So I instantly got bumped up by over uh, 6,500 people. And as a result of that, I was able to configure my car in August, and it was delivered in December. They gave me the choice. They could deliver the car directly to my door, or I could take the car at the Tesla Service Center, which is really the, the service shop, which is in Chicago on Grand Avenue. And I took the choice uh, of taking it at Grand Avenue. I worked downtown, and that was convenient. Um, and my wife uh, works uh, on the south side down in Chicago State. So she came up and, and we both uh, took delivery of the car uh, right there at the service center. And the experience was very good. You had a Tesla uh, service center specialist. Uh, this gentleman's name who works for Tesla Motors Company is Joe DiMaggio, and that is his real legal name. So there's a couple of things that are very different from how uh, Tesla does their business model with um, you know, selling and delivering the car to customers versus a traditional car dealership. So one, they're technically not a dealership. They own all of their stores. The stores are information stores, and then the service centers are to service the car. So the personal delivery and the personal delivery experience is very different. As a matter of fact, it's, it's very much customer-focused in the sense that um, you know, they, they want to make sure that you uh, have all your questions answered on how to um, operate the car. It's much, much more hand-holding than I would ever have experienced in a, a traditional dealer. And for that reason, it, um, it, it's, it's a welcome change. For more content on electric vehicles and recent developments, visit evparade.com.